typically you need another signal for that first one we're talking about to have a phase relationship with another one to really start to hear a difference and decide if that's a great relationship or if maybe that relationship needs to change. And it's also more apparent when we have two versions of the same sound wave. So a simple scenario might be like what we have here with a snare drum and we've got two microphones on it. We've got one pointed at the top head and then we have one pointed at the bottom head. It's the same sound. Each time that snare is hit, sometimes it's hit pretty lightly. Maybe the next hit is a little bit harder. So both of these microphones are capturing the same performance each hit. They may have different amplitude, but they are capturing that relatively at the same time. And it's the same sound from just two different perspectives, right? But then when we hit that snare head, is also creating some sound pressure and it's pushing air inside the snare down. And then that bottom head is going to react to it and it will flex in the same direction, actually, right? Um, because the drum head and, and the second one anyway, at that point is kind of operating like a microphone capsule. There's sound pressure in there and it's moving, but it's a big enough sort of diaphragm that it'll create a wave going that direction also in conjunction with the wave that's already traveling that way. So now where we get in trouble, because it doesn't sound like trouble, they're all moving in the same direction. Well, we've got the microphones pointing at them in an opposite manner. So the sound pressure, if you want to think about it this way, in the way that the heads are moving, the top head is moving away from the top mic, but all that energy being transferred through the bottom head and all of that is moving toward that mic. So one of them, when we, when we get to visualize that sine wave, once they're in a DAW, we'd be able to see that one of them will peak first and then trough, but the other one reacted in the opposite manner. It would trough and then peak. 